Hi, my name is Bogey. I probably linked you this video so we could help set up your model and I think visual stuff is a lot easier to learn from. So let's get into it. I also want to say because I forgot, please make sure you save your file before you do anything. Um, it would be called modelname.vtube.json. Um, that is your setting file for your model, so make sure you save it, so just in case you can always go back to your old settings. I'm only going to be going over the stuff that I find is necessary to help with setting up for calibration. If you have questions, feel free to ask, or if you commissioned me, please send me a message and I will get back to you. Um, the setting is the first cog button up here. Um, if you're using a phone, which I recommend iPhone if you have it, but if not, it's okay. Um, they do have Android as well, but it's not as great. Um, if you're using Wi-Fi, then you would choose the first one where you start a server, I think on your computer first, and then you go to the same menu on your phone and you click the tab over and it should connect. The USB is just using your phone charger to connect one another. If you're using webcam, it's the camera button and then make sure you select your camera, the tracking quality and what you're tracking. So if it's face only hand or face and hand tracking um, and make sure you click camera on or camera off so you can actually have the tracking. <laughs> this tab is very, very important. I'm not gonna be going over all of the parameters which is what these boxes are here. Um, I'm gonna be going over the ones that I typically change when I do rigging personally um, and things that you will most likely need to be changing for your model to work properly or at least better than using my settings um, because everyone's position of their camera, lighting, how you talk, how you move is different. So it's not gonna always be like one cup fits all. I'm gonna be covering the eyes and the mouth right now where I find those are the most common problem areas. Um, this will be if your eye is either stuck too um, small or if it's like a little too, too closed. Um, you can tweak this number. I do this mostly for my like shocked look because it's a bit too much effort to like strain my eyes to do that. So if I want my pupils to go smaller, I will raise this number here. And you can do like by 0.1 by 0.1 or do bigger jumps, whatever you want. I usually have it around here or well, you can see the difference on the eyes. See how this one's a lot bigger than the other one? It's because we just changed the eye. Um, and then we will go down to the neck other eye and do the same here. So now they match, right? Awesome. Um, if your eye is too, if your pupil is too small, then you can lower the number. Um, it might happen like that for webcam where you'll need to tweak the eyes a bit. So your eye's not always small. So just bring the number a bit further down. This also depends on how your model's rigged. So it might not totally work for everyone, but um, all you really need to do is change the output a little bit um, to get it to be fixed. We're going to be going over the mouth now. Um, this is where I see a lot of trouble. Um, hopefully this helps a little bit. If your mouth is hanging open like my model currently is, then when your mouth is fully closed in person, look at the input. It says around 0.07. I'm going to change the bottom number to 0.08. Now my mouth is closed and my mouth is closed in person. Um, the max. Output is what you're going to change next. This number will incre increase, will, will change how quickly your mouth will go to the biggest mouth form. So I typically like mine at 2.5. This will depend on how your model is rigged as well, but I like 2.5. For example, if you wanted it to be a lot bigger, you can go to 3.5. And now you see how much bigger my mouth uses the big mouth forms and I'm talking the same, not over exaggerating anything. Um, it's not my cup of tea, but some people like it and that's okay. The next thing we will change is up at mouth smile. I tend to smile a lot when I talk and that makes it a bit hard for my um, smaller mouth forms to show. So I usually have my max at 1.5 and my minimum at like 1.5 to sometimes I do negative two because it shows my mouth forms, the smaller ones a bit better. But 1.5 is my cozy point, <laughs> my safe point. Um, for you, it's probably gonna be different. Please don't be afraid to tweak numbers and change them like go to like 1.4, 1.3, 1.2, any of that um, will help. 
Um, I changed these numbers to 0.95. Um, I don't really have an explanation as to why. I'm sure I could Google it and understand why, but my friend who's really good at mouth rigging um, helped me and told me those were good. Um, so that's what I use. <laughs> Um, the next bit that we're going to be going over is my body tweaks. This isn't necessary, but it kind of gets the feel of the models that I personally like. Um, might not work for your model if it's not rigged for it, but as always, it's nice to know. The main body changes that I do is on body rotation Z. I reverse the output. So this will be negative 10, this will be 10. I kind of like it because how I rig on my non-cheapy models, you kind of have a shoulder roll going on. Um, I also reverse these two, which gives your body a different look from your head. And I think it looks nice. The other thing I tweak is I go up to the face um, ones and I change these to 45. For example, this is my head normally comfortably moving to the right. I change it to 45 and move some more because I don't want to move my head too much in person, but I want it to move more in the YouTuber world. Same with the up position and moves it up. So I don't have to move my head as much. The head tilt has it tilt more. Hopefully that will help you um, understand a bit more with tweaking the settings or getting your VTuber to move how you want it to move. 